Uh, touch on briefly what you like about LinkedIn. So LinkedIn right now is favoring content creators. LinkedIn does not have a whole lot in the feed, right? So um, LinkedIn is great if you're a professional, you have a career, you wanna document your experience, you wanna connect with professional individuals, and you don't put out um, like content for TikTok or, or Instagram, you know, like posting like that. No, you wanna, you wanna post valuable, helpful information that people on LinkedIn are going to read it through and they're gonna learn something. So people that go to LinkedIn are already in the mindset of connecting, networking, business partnerships and things like that. And right now, according to my fantasy league, Gary Vaynerchuk says LinkedIn, best organic reach right now. So that's the mindset. If I was making say 35K you know, a year and I got limited budget and I can't afford Facebook ads and Instagram ads and YouTube ads and all that, where can I post that's gonna get the most amount of reach? TikTok, LinkedIn, Clubhouse. That's where you wanna be. How and when one can start making money on a YouTube channel? Okay, so uh, Richard, I believe, I believe the, uh, where's my marker? I think you need 1,000 subs and I think you need 4,000 hours of watch time. So 1,000 subs, 4,000 hours of watch time, then you can uh, submit to be uh, monetized on your channel to get monetized. And then you start making money uh, per, per view, right? But that's really not a lot of money at all. So you wanna add a product, a service to your, to your channel. Uh, what is the risk in doing velocity banking when and if the market crashes? Great question. Great question. So velocity banking is kind of like an emergency fund. Right? It can come in. It can, it can save you. So I'll give you an example. I'll use me. Back in 2018, Right? I experienced my own market crash in my own personal economy. I got fired. Right, That's a crash. That's a market crash in my personal economy. I got fired in 2018. Right, I was making 2000 a month, roughly, just a little, a little under 2K a month net. Right, And my cash flow was 1500 I had a $5,000 PLOC, unsecured line of credit, at 10.99% was my uh, interest rate. Got it? So right before I got fired, I, had a, I made a chunk right at debt right before I got fired, like a month or two right before I got fired, I had made a, ch a chunk. One month, two months later, boom, got fired, right? I had maybe two, two to 3,000 available in, in credit, right? I went to the bank and got an increase before it registers that I'm no longer employed. So I went right to the bank leveraged my credit, increased my credit limit to 10,000 to buy me time to find either a new job or start a new business. Denzel went the route of starting a new business. Here's what you see today. I used debt to leverage, invest, grow. Here we are today, right? I used fiat money. I used fake currency worthless dollars to then turn those worthless dollars into something valuable, right? 
So this is an example of how Velocity Bank can get used. In the debt snowball world, if all I had was a $1,000 emergency fund, I would have got wiped the F out. Okay, excuse my language. I would have got wiped the F out. That's the truth. If I would have just stuck with the, save, with the seven baby steps. You would not see the finance geek. You would not know who Denzel Rodriguez is if all I did was have a measly $1,000 emergency fund putting 15% in a freaking 401k and, you know, I don't know, trying to, trying to pay off debt, slowly making extra payments. I would have gotten wiped the F out. But because I had wisdom, experience, knowledge, got access to information that most people will never get access to, I decided to leverage. I leveraged good debt. I created a business that created cash flow, cash flow, cash flow is more important than net worth. I would rather have cash flow, right? I'd rather have like five, 10,000 a month in cash flow than a million dollars sitting doing nothing, tied up, locked up in a 401k. So if you, if you gave me the option, Denzel, here's a million dollars in a 401k, you can't touch it till you're 59 and a half. It'll grow at a steady 8% rate of return. Uh, average, the internal rate of return might be like, I don't know, 4% versus five to 10 grand in cash flow for the rest of your life. I'd rather have the cash flow. Why? I could take that cash flow, invest it, reduce my taxes to zero versus the one million that I'm gonna get taxed, ordinary income tax when I'm 59 and a half when the tax rate is horrendous, ridiculous, right? So that, that's my point. So that's one example of how Velocity Banking can work if the market crashes. Thanks for donating to Steven Gardner for his giveaway. I've subscribed due to that fact, thanks. So Steven Gardner, if you guys don't know, he is also uh, pretty up to speed with EIDL, PPP, stimulus checks. He puts, a, he puts like a video out every single day. This guy went from, I remember it vividly, this number. He went from 436 subs to now over 900,000 subs on YouTube. Talk about explosion. Talk about kingdom, kingdom principles. This guy is a kingdom man. This guy understands kingdom protocol, kingdom principles, kingdom values, kingdom authority. This guy gets it. This guy gets it. 436 subs. 900k he picked a topic stuck to it followed the trend look where he's at today 900,000 plus subscribers I think he's like at probably 910 or more right now uh, but that is Steven Gardner somebody put somebody comment that for me please appreciate that Steven Gardner you can check him out I did two collaborations with him, one on my channel, one on his channel. You guys can see uh, how we, we inter there was a point where I had more subscribers than him, right? So you can kind of see how he was talking then, how he talks now, and you're going to see the guy's level, the attitude, every, I mean, consistent. The 900K didn't get to him, right? He's still a kingdom man walking in his authority. And I, and, I, and I think it's amazing.